Welcome back. He's been called the father of Art Deco, Ertre, a man born of Russian aristocracy who died in 1990 at the age of 97. But in his lifetime, he created quite a portfolio. He designed clothes for the likes of Judy Garland, Elizabeth Taylor, and Barbara Streisand. Ertre's artwork is on display now in Cherry Creek. And joining us now from the Martin Lawrence Gallery is Baron Christian, and he's a senior consultant for the gallery nationwide. And I'm told you're also a big Ertre fan. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. We're very pleased to have you here. Take us on a walk and show us some of these exquisite pieces. I understand there are fascinating stories behind them. Incredible pieces. First of all, we're going to show you some bronzes and some gouaches. The bronzes are very interesting, but the gouaches are the stars of the show. These are original gouaches, and this is the largest collection in the world of original gouaches from Erte. This is the cover of Harper's Bazaar, done 1929. These pieces have traveled all over the world. You can see perhaps the markings in Japan, Germany, China, and they're very, very special pieces. Again, these are hand-done airtays, not serographs, not copies, but the real thing. And when you talk about a gouache, I, I'm an amateur here, w help me out, what is that? We'll call it a watercolor. Okay, okay, thanks. Almost. And show us one of these bronzes up close. I'd like to know what era did he take these images from? This, these images were from the uh, early 20s to uh, late 30s. He did a lot of covers and advertisement for Harper's Bazaar and for Vogue. And this one in particular has a little naughty story that I'd like to tell you. Originally in the 20s, when nylons came out and replaced silk stockings, he did a uh, graphic that was a little bit risque. It was men caressing the lady's leg underneath the skirt. The American public uh, didn't go for this. It was a little bit too risque. Mm -hmm. So instead, they have this piece, which is the uh, birds caressing the leg. I However, gotcha. in Europe, uh, they used the uh, real thing. And do these pieces travel across the country that you're showing us now? Uh, they do travel across the country, but this will be their last travel. This will be the last time you'll be able to see this large of a display. If I may, I'm going to show you something very, very special. This is a serograph of Ertes. A serograph is basically a silk screen print. This one is called the Emerald Vase. Now, if you watch, this is stamped with oil and uh, two tons of embossing. Watch what happens with the vase as it changes. And this is very wonderful if you have it in your room for morning light, afternoon, or cocktail time. Changing shades of colors. Isn't that gorgeous? So uh, as we take a look at a price on the screen for a mere $6,000, you can own one of these pieces for yourself. But for some people, they're... Oh, is that right? Collector's items for many. Well, thanks for joining us, and thank you for the tour today. It's my pleasure. I'd like to introduce Marie Conley, our director of the Martin Lawrence Gallery. All right, Marie, thank you for having us in today. We appreciate it. We want to let folks know that the gallery will be open to the public tomorrow night from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Again, it's open to the public for free. If you'd like to enjoy those pieces, it'll stay on display through next weekend. All right, Mike Nelson is out in the backyard.